Hello and welcome to another Flight Gear video. Today I will show you how to take off with a Grumman F-14 from an aircraft carrier. And I will also try to land on the same aircraft carrier and I will uh, explain to you how that is normally done and how to navigate around the aircraft carrier using the Tarkan system of the F-14. So, I've paused the flight gear simulation, now we restart it. So the first thing, thing we do is we check the fuel. It shouldn't be too much and not too little, just for a little go around. 7000 pre-configured, that should do. Then we go into the model view. And there are some things we have to prepare before we can actually take us. The first thing we try is to fold the wings to make sure that this really works with the, with the minor uh, sign on your keyboard. You can activate this manually and with the equation you can unfold them again. The next thing we're using some flaps. I will show you the flaps indicator in the cockpit as well. And then we activate the launch bar. It's a capital L on your keyboard, so capital Lima. And as you can see it folds up the blast shield. And now the front wheel is also locked into that uh, slide that will catapult us uh, out to the sea once we uh, activate it with a capital C, with a capital Charlie later. So let's get familiar with uh, the most important things in the cockpit. First of all, to use the Takan, we want to get some orientation. Where is the aircraft carrier? In fact, to, to find to find it again. So here in the hut, we have the we have the distance indicator for the Takan, and here this little triangle indicates the direction in which we have to fly to actually find our aircraft carrier again. We have to make sure that we are on the right Takan fre frequency. We are now on the USS Vinson and the Takan frequency is 029 X-ray. So we have to make sure that X-ray is pre-selected, otherwise we will not find the, the aircraft carrier. This is the Takan frequency 029 and X-ray is pre-selected, that's correct. And also you have to make sure that in this dial here, the arrow points to Tango slash Romeo and not to any of the other ones. If that doesn't, if you ca if it is uh, not dialed to TR, and you cannot dial it back, you have to restart, you have to reset the flight, and then it will be correct. So that's what you need to do to actually use the Takan in the cockpit. If you don't get it done, then you still have as a workaround. You can use the map, and when you activate traffic you see your aircraft carrier and then you can use the map for example you can make it transparent push it into the edge of your cockpit so that it doesn't bother you and then you use the map it's a little bit of cheating so it's more realistic for real pilots top gun tom cruise it would be the the takan would be the first choice so what we're gonna do now um Flaps, we don't use full flaps for takeoff, that would uh, cause too much drag, so we, uh, we go to quite high flaps position, but not full flaps. And this is the hook, we, this is the hook indicator, we need it later to actually grab one of those four cables. Maybe I can show you the cables before we take off. Here, in the landing zone, there are the four cables, and we have to grab one of those four with our hook. We will now activate the hook. It's with a it's with a minor it's with a minor O Oscar, and also with Oscar on your keyboard, you retract it again. That's what you need as a preparation to uh, to get a grip on your aircraft carrier when landing. So, what comes also very handy in case you don't want to do everything manually is uh, the auto throttle here. There's a little bit of auto throttle. And uh, let's see where it is. Pitch, roll. This is it. Throttle mode. And with the control Sierra, you can sort of freeze your current speed. 
so what you need for approach, for final approach, is uh, something around 180 knots. And once you've slowed down to 180 knots, you just press Ctrl S on your keyboard, and that will activate this little switch and switch it to on, and then you're on auto throttle. You, you can also check by using your throttle, give full throttle, and it should not react to that. So the, the thrust levers should go back to idle position and still the, the machine gives you enough thrust to maintain your current speed and this speed for landing should be 180 knots. So if you have problem with speed management on short final uh, when approaching your carrier, try the Control S to freeze your current speed. That will stabilize the plane significantly and it makes sure that you don't that you don't overshoot the runway or go down actually go down before you have reached the carrier runway. So I think we're ready to go. The Takan is is ready. Let's check again the fuel if we haven't uh, used up too much now by standing around. But I think it should still be enough for we're just uh, making a little go around. So we are ready to go. We give full throttle. And then with a capital C, capital Charlie, we activate the catapult. Full throttle. We get the nice afterburners. And then with a capital C, off we go. And let's retract the gear immediately. And also flaps. Here, you have the flaps indicator. And now we're on flaps position zero. So, now we uh, do a little uh, curve immediately. Make sure that your speed does not drop below 200 knots, otherwise you're in risk of stalling. And now we go back again. To actually do a flyby on our carrier. Uh, we are now way too slow, so we have to pick up speed. Um, with the F-14, doing a turn will, will uh, slow you down quite quite uh, clearly and uh, you always have to maintain your speed not to stall in the F-14. That's one of the downsides of this otherwise very nicely modeled plane. Look at the cockpit and also the co-pilot cockpit. It is beautifully made. It is almost complete. It's really a pleasure flying this plane. I think it's one of the best fighter airplanes in, um, in flight gear. It's really a pleasure to operate this, uh, this uh, piece of flying equipment. So, what we try to do now, now we're flying straight away from our carrier, we just flown over it. We look at the Takan, at around 6 miles out we could make our turnaround to, uh, to fly back to the, to the carrier and to attempt the landing. Now, as you can see, the triangle, here this little triangle indicating the, the carrier's position, it's at 180 degrees, means it's on 6 o'clock, so we're flying straight away from the carrier, that's what we want. Also, to get the correct vector later when we re-approach our carrier. We're now 4 miles out, so um, still a uh, little bit to go that gives us more time, once we've done the turnaround gives us more time to prepare for the touchdown. We have to do quite some things to prepare the touchdown, so let's give us enough time to do that. So we don't fly with afterburners because that eats up too much fuel. We can take away the taskbar. So no afterburners. We're not flying supersonic now. It's not necessary for what we're trying to do. So we're on seven miles out. Now we can do the turnaround. And the turnaround will also help us lose a lot of speed because we should not be too fast when we reapproach our carrier. Now we give full throttle with afterburners, not to get too slow. Trying to go around here until we have this little triangle in the Takan display on 360 degrees. Now we're on 360 and now we're on our way back. So. We use the, the flaps already because we shouldn't uh, extend them while the speed is too high, otherwise we get a warning that's not good for the plane. And we also extract the hook with a, a lowercase Oscar. So the hook doesn't harm us much, it doesn't have much influence on the aerodynamics yet. So what we try now, we extend the flaps even more and then use capital Control S to freeze the current speed. 
184 knots, that would be okay for a touchdown attempt, 184. I think we will uh, lose some more speed once we have extended the gear. And there I can already see very small on the horizon the carrier. So we can already extend the gear. You can see this is the gear lever. So when we extend the gear, see it goes down. Okay, let's always watch the speed indicator should be something around 180 then you're good to go 180 190 that would still be okay ah, 185 that's very nice let's have a look if everything is extended gear full flaps and the hook that's what we need and i've activated this here you can see we're on full flaps and I've activated the auto throttle to freeze the speed at around 180 knots. What we have to do now is the most important thing. We have to get the vector right. The, the landing strip on the carrier is not exactly straight in the direction of the ship's body. It goes a little bit from right to left, so we have to approach from the right. Have to fly a little turn. And in the end, you need to use the rudder for fine tuning. Now I'm only using ailerons to align with the runway. And in the, sh in the final sequence, then I will also use the rudder for fine-tuning to make sure I grab one of those four cables. So you can see the so-called meat ball, that's the height indicator, this red and green ball on the, on the carrier. It indicates if I'm too high or too low. If I see red and green, it's all good. I can already see the cables. It looks all good. So, so, so. Here it comes. Stop. And we made it. So we activate the parking brake. That was a close one. So I was maybe a little bit too fast. But as you can see, we made it successfully. So we retract the flaps. We retract the hook. And we can now fold the, the wings to make the plane more compact to get to some kind of parking position. You have to press the smaller key on your keyboard many times to completely fold the wings. And now you can even do some taxiing here. There are those uh, elevators, they can be operated. And um, yeah, you can, when you release the parking brake, you could uh, use the, the front gear so that you could use the tiller just to steer to over there. To use the elevator to get into the ship's body, it is, it is completely animated, you can really do that. So there is the... Uh, it's not multiplayer... Let me see, Tomcat controls, no, multiplayer. Carrier controls, That's this is it. So if you really want to do that, just to celebrate your successful landing, this is a little extra that you have here. You just go to this, uh, to this elevator. Make sure you come with the right angle. And we will stop right before it, not to fall down a little more. And there you activate the parking brake and then you can operate the deck elevators. Uh, we get into a little conflict with this F-18 because that's part of the animation. And now you can see the, the elevator coming up. It is very slow, of course. And once it is completely up, you can roll on that elevator, deactivate operate deck elevators, and it will go down again. It can actually roll into the hangar. Then that's very nicely animated, and you can have a look around in the hangar. So that takes too much time to show you now. I don't want to bore you with this sequence. Just a little hint. So this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you again next time. Goodbye.